Hey, what is up guys? This is Brett here from brettdev.com and welcome back to the channel. Now, those of you who follow the channel will know that I've been a digital nomad living in Thailand for over eight years, so going on a decade. And today in this video, I wanna talk about 10 reasons why I choose to stay in Thailand. More specifically, 10 reasons why I choose to stay in Chiang Mai. Now, Chiang Mai is a city in the north of Thailand and it is pretty much the digital nomad hub of the world, at least in my opinion. I don't think there's anywhere else on earth that can match Chiang Mai for digital nomads. And in this video, I'm gonna get into 10 of the reasons why. The first thing is Chiang Mai has an incredibly affordable cost of living. If you're just getting started, if you're a digital nomad starting out, if you wanna build a business, if you wanna become a freelancer, if you wanna you know, make money online, Chiang Mai is one of the best places to do it because it's so cheap to live. Now, I've made videos on this channel about cost of living before, which I'll link to down in the description, but you can get an apartment here in Chiang Mai for like three, $400. You can pretty much live here for about a thousand dollars a month and be completely comfortable so if you're starting up if you're just getting started online you want to build an online business you obviously don't want to have a bunch of overhead you don't want to have a lot of costs and Chiang Mai is the perfect place because it's so cheap to live here the second reason is if you're working online you're going to need internet and not only is it cheap to live here and not only is the internet cheap but it's incredibly good a lot of people ask me about this Brett what's the wi-fi like do I need to be concerned about internet connectivity Absolutely not. Chiang Mai has some of the best internet in the world. I think I pay about $15 a month and I have one gigabyte up, one gigabyte down. Okay, that's absolutely ridiculous. Fun fact, if you ever come to Thailand and you see all of those cables in the sky that look really, really messy, I'm sure if you've been to Bangkok, you've seen it. Those are actually internet cables. So in Thailand, they run the cables over the roads and that's why it's so cheap. They don't dig up the roads to put the internet in they don't give a shit about the mess they just run the cables through the sky and as a result you get really really cheap really fast fiber optic internet so it's absolutely perfect if you're working online and you need good internet connection not only that but even if you you know don't want to have your own fiber line you can get unlimited data plans on your phone i think i pay about 50 or 60 pounds or 50 or 60 dollars a year and i get four, five, six megabyte unlimited internet. It's not the fastest, but I get it unlimited internet for an entire year for like 50, 60 quid, which is absolutely crazy. The third reason is co-working spaces. So you'll be hard pressed to find as many co-working spaces as you will in Chiang Mai. There isn't even as many co-working spaces in Bangkok or any other city in Thailand as in Chiang Mai. I don't think there's as many co-working spaces in any city in the world as there is in Chiang Mai. Now, if you're a member of Nomad School, my online community, I've actually got a thread on there, which I've kind of listed all of my top co-working spaces, and there's like over 20 of them. In this small city, there's over 20 different co-working spaces. Half of them are paid, but half of them are free as well. So because Chiang Mai is like a university city, a lot of the co-working spaces, they're not for digital nomads, they're for university students, but if you are a digital nomad, they're perfect. All you need to do is go in, buy a coffee, they have really fast internet, they have desks, tables, they're built out like a co-working space. They're designed for you to sit there on your laptop with a coffee and get work done. It's absolutely amazing. And the co-working spaces, are not only beneficial obviously for the internet and for the environment but they also are a great place to network and connect with people okay so if you're coming here you want to become a digital nomad you want to work online you're not gonna have any friends when you get here probably just join a co-working space you're gonna have tons of friends within a week okay everyone's coming here to do the same thing they're all trying to build their businesses and co-working spaces are like i said not just great for the for the environment but they're a great place to network hopefully the weather in chiang mai is pleasant all year round pretty much. I mean, it does have a rainy season, does have a hot season, does have a cool season, but one of the big reasons why I won't go and live in Bangkok or anywhere else in Thailand, um, well, I would, but one big thing that I don't like about anywhere else in Thailand other than the north of Thailand is it is absolutely overwhelmingly hot. Now, a lot of people will come to Chiang Mai and say, well, Chiang Mai is overwhelmingly hot. Not compared to Bangkok, not compared to places down south. When I go down south, it is un bearable. I can't go out of the house without just feeling like I'm in an oven. Chiang Mai is nice and cool. You get a nice breeze. The weather is kind of like um, moderate. It's not overwhelming. It can be at certain months of the year, like in the real hot, hot season. But for the most part, the weather here is the best in Thailand. The fifth reason is it's very easy to integrate if you can't speak Thai. So Chiang Mai, most people here speak English. Okay, that's... I always say if you come to Thailand, you should try and learn Thai, but one of the big problems you're gonna have with learning Thai is that everybody can speak English. 
So it's really difficult to be motivated to learn it when you can speak to somebody in English and they'll just speak straight back to you. And a lot of Thais want to want to speak English. Even if you speak to somebody in Thai and they see that you're a foreigner, they will just reply to you in English. So almost all of the city speaks good enough English that you can get by perfectly fine. Okay, so that makes it really, really easy if you, you know, you're new to the country and you can't speak Thai. The sixth reason is healthcare, okay? Healthcare facilities and services. So this is another big question I get all the time, Brett, what's the health service like? I'm worried about healthcare. Thailand, I think, is rated in the top five or six best destinations in the world for healthcare. And the price is reasonable. I'm not gonna say it's dirt cheap, but it is reasonable. It's expensive if you're coming from the UK where you get healthcare for free, but if you're coming from the US, it's cheap. So. You know, it's somewhere in the middle, but the quality that you get and the service that you get for healthcare in Thailand is absolutely outstanding. Um, it's just on another level, okay? Compared to the UK, it's a lot, lot better than the UK. I've been to hospitals in the UK, I've been to hospitals in Thailand, it's night and day difference. You feel like you're going to a five-star resort when you go to a hospital in Thailand compared to going to a hospital in the UK. So the healthcare is absolutely outstanding. Seventh reason is it's a safe and friendly environment, okay? so. You don't, really don't have to worry about crime here. I've made videos on this channel before talking about like crime indexes and stuff and actually pointed out that Thailand and Chiang Mai in particular is actually safer than Canada, right? There's all these countries that you would think are safe, Western countries, Thailand's safer. It's not a dangerous place whatsoever. You don't have to worry about crime. I've never worried about crime in the nearly 10 years that I've lived here. I've also made points that, you know, I've been in coffee shops, for example, like in the mall on like the fifth floor and I've gone downstairs to get some food, gone all the way down to the basement level, like six floors down, come back to the coffee shop 45 minutes later, and guess what, I didn't even take my laptop or my stuff, I just leave it on the desk. No one's gonna steal it, nobody's gonna rob from you. Sure, it could happen, but it's so unlikely to happen that you don't even think about it. One thing that always gives me like a, a, good, a good laugh is, um, you know, when people come to Chiang Mai for the first time, here in Thailand, we ride motorbikes a lot. And obviously if you're on a motorbike, you have a helmet. It's always funny when you see a couple of foreigners kind of walking through the mall, like holding their helmet. And the reason they're doing that obviously is because they don't want to leave it on the bike because they think it's going to get stolen. Now in Chiang Mai, you don't do that. In Chiang Mai, you put, take your helmet off, you put it on your motorbike and you leave it there. No one's going to come along. No one's going to steal it. Okay. This, why is this? I think largely it has to do with the, you know, the Buddhist culture and stuff like that in Thailand, but theft and crime is really something you don't have to worry about in Chiang Mai, and that's what makes it just one of the loveliest, nicest places if you are a digital nomad and you want to come here, relax, you know, not have to worry about that kind of stuff. I mean, there's lots of places in the world, there's, you know, South America, which are a good hotspot for digital nomads and things like that, but crime is a real concern down there, and, you know, I wouldn't like to go down there have to worry about that on top of you know other things that you're doing it's nice to be in a place that's just completely safe um well as, a, as safe as it possibly could be and not have to actually worry about you know criminals now the eighth reason why Chiang Mai is a great place for digital nomads is just the variety of accommodation and lifestyle options so a lot of people talk about how Chiang Mai is cheap how it's great if you're a digital nomad just starting out which it is but maybe you're a digital nomad that's already like making great money and you want to live in a place that's just awesome so you can live any type of lifestyle that you want in Chiang Mai like I've made videos in this channel before of people that live in huge luxury mansions I've made videos in this channel before of people living in cheap budget condos. It's not a place where it's just cheap, like if you, like you only come here if you wanna live cheap. You can also live on the opposite end of the spectrum and you can live a really luxurious lifestyle for less money than you would spend back in the West. So that's the eighth reason why I think it's such a great place for digital nomads. You can really live whatever type of lifestyle you want. When people ask me how much do I need to live in Chiang Mai? Well, it's like, how long is a piece of string? You can live on $1,000 a month or you can spend $30,000 a month if you really want to, depending on the type of lifestyle that you want to have. There's cheap restaurants where you can get a meal for a dollar. There's luxurious Michelin star restaurants where you can spend a hell of a lot of money. So depending on your lifestyle, it's completely up to you. Chiang Mai kind of has everything from both ends of the spectrum. Now, the ninth reason why it's such a good place to be a digital nomad is its proximity to other Southeast Asian destinations. So most people that want to become dig digital nomads, they want to travel. They want to go around the world, they want to see different places, they want to work online. Now, what a great place to start than Southeast Asia. Southeast Asia is cheap. It's full of, you know, variety, different cultures, different countries. 
and Chiang Mai has an international airport that will basically fly to any Southeast Asian destination. So it's a great place to set up shop. It's a great place to have a base. I know a lot of people that travel around as digital nomads all over Southeast Asia, but because like the cost of living here is so cheap and because apartments and rentals are so cheap, they'll rent a condo for like, I don't know, 100, 150 bucks a month. They'll keep all of their main stuff there, you know, like their monitors, their big stuff, and they'll routinely just fly out of Chiang Mai to Vietnam, Cambodia, Laos, India, Myanmar, the Philippines, Bali. You can go everywhere from Chiang Mai. It's a perfect hub. It's a perfect destination to base yourself if you want to explore the Southeast Asian region. Like I said, it's got a fantastic airport, flies international, flies domestically. Domestic flights are really cheap, so you could base yourself in Chiang Mai and then travel all over Thailand, or you can go all over Southeast Asia and be a true digital nomad who travels around, explores other places. And the 10th and final reason why I think Chiang Mai is the absolute best place for digital nomads is the ease of transport and mobility. Now, I spoke about I wouldn't want to live in Bangkok because of the heat, but another thing that really winds me up about Bangkok is it takes forever to get anywhere. You have to walk everywhere, you have to use the underground trains, you have to use the MRT, just getting around Bangkok is an absolute pain in the ass. Getting around any major city usually is a pain in the ass. Now in Chiang Mai, some people say that Chiang Mai is not great because it hasn't got good public transport, but it, which it hasn't. But if you rent a scooter in Chiang Mai, if you order like taxis on your phone like Bolt or Grab, you can get from one side of the city to the other in a taxi for like three dollars. If you have a scooter, you can get from one side of the city to the other in 20 or 30 minutes. I've heard people talk about traffic. Look, I've lived here for nearly 10 years. If you've got a scooter, a motorbike, Traffic isn't an issue. You can dive, you can weave between the traffic. It does have traffic at rush hour and stuff like that. But you can weave between the traffic and you can get from one side of the city to the other in 20 to 30 minutes. There's nowhere in this city that you can't get to on a motorbike in that amount of time. So, you know, if you want to go anywhere, if you want to go to the big shops, the malls, if you want to go to the co-working spaces, the coffee shops, if you want to go head outside the city a little bit, anything that you might want from the city that, that the city has to offer, you can get to it like that. You just hop on your bike and you're there. No messing around. You're not going, you're not waiting for a train ticket. You're not getting in a crowded hot subway. You're not, you know, having to walk miles and miles in the burning heat, right? Just hop on your bike and you're there. The ease of transport and mobility in Chiang Mai is like no other city in the world. I absolutely love it. It's so easy to get around. And um, like I said, that's the final reason why I think Chiang Mai really is the best place and it is the mecca for digital nomads in the world. I hope you liked this video, guys. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to leave a comment below. And if you want to become a digital nomad and if you're you know, interested in moving to Chiang Mai and you're interested in working online, then head on over to nomadschool.com. That's my online community. We've got over 500 people in there right now. Everyone's helping each other out. People are asking questions about where to go, how to relocate, how to work online, how to make money online all of this stuff, so all the, all the conversations are taking place inside of Nomad School right now. All you have to do is go to nomadschool.com or click the link in the description below, and I maybe even throw a link up right here. You can click right here and you can, um, you can get access. That's all for today, guys. Like I said, I hope you liked the video and I'll see you in the next one. Take care for now, bye-bye.